Hey guys, Noel here, and it is Friday, and we got a little bit of free time on our hands. I thought it'd be fun to do a video for the video game section of the Noel Comics YouTube channel. You know, one of the highest viewed videos on the channel includes our buddy right here, the Commodore 64 1084S, uh, which has recently been uh, cleaned and, uh, you know, put uh, pretty close back to factory as it can be. And it's uh, not RGB capable in terms of most consoles, as I found, as I think this is actually a proprietary RGB. Um, so I actually took it to a friend's uh, who's a former TV repairman, opened it up, looked at it, and he said, yeah, I think the reason you can't get RGB working through SCART on this is this is a special RGB uh, that is uh, basically designed for specific forms of RGB, not the, you know, more standardized forms. So why am I talking about this? Well, what I normally do is put my consoles on Lumachroma on this thing. So I basically have a S-Video to Lumachroma adapter because there's two jacks in the back of this that actually take, um, you know, one for the color, one for the light. And as you can see, the picture quality on this thing is ridiculous, but... The real question is, how does the Commodore 64 1084S, which by the by is playing Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo on the Panasonic Real 3DO right here. Let's move our Evercade right here to the side. How does it stack up to a PVM? Well, right here we have a JVC PVM. And the 3DO that I'm playing at, it, it has um, RGB out and also S video out. So, here is S video. Sorry, no, this is uh, RGB through a SCART cable on this JVC PVM. Very, 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 very nice, right? You know, very smooth picture pop in, beautiful colors, beautiful detail, beautiful clarity, right? This is RGB right here on this JVC PVM. Okay, very cool, very cool. Now, this, I mean, it's a comparable picture on the Commodore 64 1084S. Uh, and in fact, you might even argue it's a little sharper. Yeah, so, uh, beautiful, beautiful picture quality on both of these. And the reason I, um, I'm doing this video is because, you know, I had this Panasonic PVM that I picked up, and uh, talking to my friend who fixes old CRTs, he's like, the, pic the tube is dying on this thing, and at best, if you baby it, it's got about three years left. And he also recently just worked on the Commodore monitor, and he's, you know, like, this, he was just you know, drooling over this thing right here. So, let's check out now on the JVC. And there's also the issue of, you know, phone capture and how it gets along. With each monitor, it's always kind of a unique thing. Because, you know, I like to film my CRTs because I do a lot of retro content. And, I don't know, I find it more interesting to film the CRTs than to just do everything with a capture card. Hopefully we'll be able to stream tonight if uh, the kids go to bed at a reasonable hour.
So you guys can decide for yourself. I think, I mean, like each snowflake, each monitor has its own unique positives and negatives and strengths and weaknesses. But, uh, you know, they're both PVM quality, despite the fact that this is not using RGB. It's just using S video. So good stuff. Good stuff. Hope you enjoyed this little tech video. And until next time, guys, I'm Noel. You take care and we will see you in the very near future for more CRT-themed fun. Bye-bye.